Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and today I'm working on my Damascene and Toledo wear lot. Let's see if I can get this centered. And I have my grid. So this side right here is Damascene. This is all Toledo wear. And um, these are all brooches. These are all $10 a piece. And some are pretty old. But I did do a few comps. Uh, these are kind of unusual pieces. So, um, and um, if you do, I will do, if you buy five, you can get five for um, $40. So if you purchase five pieces instead of 50, it would be 40. So, um, so there's a little bit of a deal there and you can mix and match. And if you only see a few pieces, well, I do have some pendants coming up in the next video. Um, and there are some necklaces and, and, you know, kind of odds and ends, but for now we're doing the $10 range here. And, um, so over here I have Toledo wear, which is a stamped metal. And then they colorize the um, lower portions in either black, white, and this one also has some green. This one's super old. So I guess we'll start with the dagger. This is the dagger. And what's cool about this piece, I mean, it's got a super pointy pin here. Um, at first, I thought it may have had some repair, but it doesn't look like it. Um, it's just that the, the blade seems to be super clean, but maybe it's just never been out. It's not sharp, so it's not real. I mean, I, I guess you could sharpen it, but um, it looks like it's all one piece. So we'll get you a measurement. So yes, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Please email me with your selection uh, timestamp on some of these. When I get over to this area here of these Damascene pieces, there's a lot of similarities. So if you want any of these, I will need a timestamp or a screenshot. These guys over here, they're all individual. So, um, so say, for instance, if you want the dagger in sheath, that's all you have to say. So it's first come, first serve on my email. This one is one inch wide and two inches, or it's two inches wide. Well, two, well actually it's two and an, I don't know, two and three quarters by an inch and then of course there's the dagger portion and then we have oh that just poked me <laughs> we have the pin the pin actually works it's not super straight but remember this thing is old and this is a Toledo wear piece and it falls under the umbrella of Damascene, but it's not Damascene. Because there's Damascene as a whole, and then there's, you know, within that, there's to Toledo Ware, Neela Ware, and Damascene. So, there you go. That's a really cool piece. $10. And yes, I did do some comps. You know, they're probably in the sold part portion of about 15 um, but these are these are vintage if not antiques so I do have my little baggies and we will fill them does that fit no I need a bigger baggie this one might work I like to keep them in their original condition. Oops, dagger fell out. 
but I, I would assume that you would, it depends on the type of clothing you wear, but it would probably go like that. And so now we have this beautiful floral piece. This is, whoops, this is the only floral piece I have here. So this one is about two inches wide by about an inch high. And it does have some bend there, but again, the extended um, pin, some pearls, and of course the painted portion right here. Oh, dropped a little baggie, I'll have to pick it up later. Might have to jump up before the dog gets it. Anyway, so if you see anything you like, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. And if you purchase um, five of these, it would be $40 or $10 a piece. Maybe you don't want five. So, I do have a couple of birds here. This looks like a road runner. This one is about two inches wide by about an inch and a half high. And there's the back. Yeah, I had, um, yeah, and this has um, just a simple C clasp, long pointy. Yeah, I, um, Texas Gals Treasures had uh, quite a bit of information about Domicine. And I had amassed a couple of pieces and then I got this one lot here, several pieces of Domicine. So here it is, two inches wide by about an inch and a quarter high. That's on the Roadrunner. My dog is teasing the cat. Okay, good thing she has something to do. Okay, here is a pair of horses. This is about an inch and a half wide by an inch and a half high. Really cool. But this is the Toledo wear. And the pin's a little bit wonky here, but it does have the C clasp here. And it does work. It probably could use some straightening, but um, I think it's fine. No one sees that part. This is the part that's the important part. So, little horsies. Cute little horsies. Remember, these are all brooches today. And I'm hoping to do this in within a half an hour so that it's a little easier to upload. All right, now we have this pitcher or urn. Remember, this is Toledo wear. Most likely has white and black and with the dagger, it had a little bit of green in it. You might see some red or some yellow, but it's mostly black and white. So this one's about, oh, a tight one inch, one inch wide by two inches, I would say. Well, less than two, one and three quarters inches high. So, and there's the back. It says Spain in there, so that's a good... Toledo wear. It doesn't stick out very far. And it is a rollover. This one's super cool. The guitar or mandolin, I don't know which one it is, but it's got a hat and it looks like some sort of maybe a tambourine of some sort and I don't know what this is. Castanets, I'm thinking castanets. And your measurement is a little over an inch. 
by about an inch and a quarter, maybe, or even an eighth. It has no markings. It does have a rollover. There is a little bit of a stick out there, not much. But I just love the fact that it has the charms. Great detail. Very, very nice. Yeah, these were the intact pieces. I actually have a bag right here. These are all the broken pieces. So I still have to go through these and see what I can salvage. Seahorses. Make sure they're all, all there. There's no pearls or anything. Does You can see the pin right there sticking out. So this has some age to it. And then my cat is hungry. So you'll hear her in the background while I'm doing this video. There's the C class or the rollover. Cute, sweet, double seahorse. So it's about an inch and a half high by an inch wide. Double mama and papa seahorse. I don't know if that's dirt or age. This is not something that I'm willing to take a, you know, anything to to clean it. I'm afraid that um, a polishing cloth would might take off the, the paint that's left on there. And I don't like to take off anything that shows the antiquities. Might ruin it. Providence. This is really cool. It says a pearl in it. It is older. It's in excellent condition. It's kind of like a, just a flower, single flower. It's about an inch. Maybe a little outside of an inch round. So there's that. And there's the pin is really straight. This one's in excellent, well cared for condition. So there's that. She's chewing on a rawhide. Just a few more of these Toledo wear pins. This, I'm not sure what this bird is. A partridge? Maybe, kind of reminds me of a partridge. Nice big long pin, it does have some bend to it, but and it does say Spain. work just fine. I am not interested in fixing any bends because I just know <laughs> from with me I would just like wreck it. I am like totally uncoordinated. So there you are. Look my little partridge. one of these bags. What you got, Zoe? Oh yes, you got your rawhide. Here's a little crabby. This one's in really good shape on the front. Really good shape on the back. Let's open it up. 
That's just age in there. But just in really good shape all around. Has the red in the eyes, really cool. Remember, these are Toledo wear pieces. They're not Domicine, even though they're in the Domicine family, maybe because of the um, origin. Cute little crab. It's about an inch and a half by an inch. Oh, crabby. And I think this might be the last Toledo wear piece that I have. This one is a ladybug. And let's see, I don't feel, it's, it's more of a recent model. But it's about an inch wide, maybe a, a hair over a half inch high. Beautiful, beautiful little ladybug. And let's make sure the clasp works. So yeah, ten dollars each, or if you want five, it would be forty bucks. First come, first serve. And um, if you do end up like at the end of it, and you only have four items, we can wait till the next Domicine show, and we can combine it. So um, not to worry. Here's a stick pin. Oh, now we are moving over to the True Domicine. And what I know about True Domicine is, um, is that these are carved in steel. You do it like a steel carving. I have a whole list of what's involved. This is kind of an involved process. So this one, um, so for instance, and um, it's carved and then they inlay with either gold leaf or gold wire. So there is some, you know, true gold in here, but um, it would be more like a gold plating on steel, but it's all hand carved by an artisan. And then there's another way you can tell faux damascene from, this looks pretty darn real to me, but I could be wrong. It's, this is all one piece. So that's what makes me think, I don't know. It's got this trombone clasp. I'm not sure if this one's older or not, but it's a bird and an oval. It is Domicine, but I don't know how old it is. So it's about an inch and a half by about an inch and three quarters oval, just in really nice shape. It's a Domicine stick pin. This one has a, <laughs> it doesn't have the natural uh, thing. So they used a, um, an earring doodad. It's kind of got a curvature to the pin here, but once you put it in your lapel, it's fine. And then it's a reverse motif. So, the steel is the black part, and of course the inlay there is the, um, it's usually 24 karat gold. And again, it's usually um, gold leaf or gold wire that they use on steel. And then this little disc looks like it was, um, it's prong set in this setting. If you don't see the prongs, it's quite possible that it could be a faux damascene or something, I don't know. But damascene's really cool how it's made. Okay, now I have a tie clip. And this one's really cool. This one says, I don't, uh, Damas, 
Cinquenado Con Oro, which is gold, 24 carats. And this was made in Toledo. It doesn't say, it's, it's not Toledo where it is Damascene, but it was probably made in Toledo. Um, and this is a, a piece that they create and then they inlay it, or, you know, it's, it's the carving and then they um, do a little prong set here. It's a tie clipper. I guess you can put it on your lapel or collar or, but this one's really cool. This one measures about two and three quarters by half inch, maybe. Measure it that way. So this is the Damascene. These I will need timestamps on. Because I have so many similars. Here is a bar with a trombone clasp. It looked, to me, these look newer, but they are Damascene. And this is the Damascene panel that's been put prong set into a frame or a setting. Pair of birds. This one is two inches by maybe, hmm, whatever that is, a little over an inch or a half inch. Well, let's do it on its back. No, it's about a half inch, almost two inches. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Here's another oval. This has a trombone clasp as well. Let's see if I can get it to work. These are kind of, yeah. What makes me suspicious that these aren't really old is that that is a very short pin. But the, they're Damascene. They're really pretty. Nice piece there with all that carving. And I can only assume that, yeah, they it's traditional that they used you know, 24 karat gold leaf or gold wire. And there's the back. So it's two inches by two and a, well, a little under two, two and uh, one and three quarters by one and a quarter, I guess. Just super beautiful. So yes, a timestamp on these guys would be very helpful. me. Here's another bar. This one has some gorgeous flowers to it. This one looks older, but it looks like it's in really good shape. And it's got a bird there, some flowers. You know, look at how far this pin sticks out. This one's in really good shape. Nice, beautiful piece. And here's your measurement. I'll do it this way because it's easier. So it's a little over an inch wide, a little more than, well, could be an inch and a quarter, close to an inch and a quarter. Hi. So that's a real pretty piece. But remember on the Damascene section, which is this half, it will be by time stamp because I can find the seahorses. That's not a problem. Here is another tie clip. This one looks super, I mean, to me it looks really old, but look at that minute carving there. Just gorgeous. Here's your size. This one is two and almost two inches and like a quarter inch high. So this is just super pretty, just gorgeous. Really good shape. And we have a bunch of circles. And we'll make this quick. So we have the um, birds. 
These are birds. Try oh, this is a this is a rollover. Rollover works. Here's your size, one inch round on this one. So we'll pause a little bit so you can get your timestamp. And all you have to do is if you're watching TV, hit the pause button. There's your timestamp. When you're watching it on your phone, same thing, pause, there's your timestamp. So, um, or you can do a screenshot and send it to me, but um, there you go. So that's that one. And these took, look similar, but they're, they're not. This one is another inch round. This has a single bird with a, looks like a single flower stem. This one's a little less detail. Well, actually, the other one looks really close. Um, they're just ever so slightly different. These are really similar in look. So it could be the same artist. Both have a trombone clasp. So we'll do this one first. These are both inch round. Give me a minute on that so you can do a timestamp or a screenshot. Okay, and then we have this one, which is similar. So screenshot, timestamp that one. Give it a minute. Whoops. That's a good way to break jewelry. And the trombone clasps. Let's see what they do. That could be a factor. Yep, they work. A little tight, but they work. Come out some more. Oh yeah, they're shorter. So we just have to be aware of that. But there they go. This one works a little easier. And they are shorter. They're not very long. And get in there. There we go. There we go. So there's those. And then the last two little round ones, a little bit different. This one's a little, seems a little smaller. This is, this is uh, two horses and two people. So this is under an inch. This one looks older. The pin is sticking way out. And there you go. Beautiful Damascene. Horses. Pretty darn cool. And the last one is a shield. This one's about an inch round. This one, because of all the gold that's showing, it looks like it has more work to it. A lot more carving when there's more gold showing. But they're all beautifully done. This also has a trombone piece to it. A little easier to maneuver. All right. So you know I don't have it in there right. Pops out. There we go. Really cool. So those are the Domicine pieces and the Toledo Wear pieces that I am showing tonight. And again, it, if you buy four, you get one free. Or if you buy five, it's $40. So, just depends on how you do the math. So, um, here's the Damascene, 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 Damascene. These are the Toledos. Here's another Damascene, Damascene, Toledo. Toledo, Damascene, stick pin. Damascene, Damascene. Okay, the rest are Damascene. I don't think I am missing anything else. So here are all the pieces. One last look. Turn, turn, turn. All right, email Jeanette, Janda Panda Treasures, um, with a timestamp, first come, first serve. Um, once I get paid, 
I would ship within 24 hours. So tell me when you're ready to be billed. So, and you know, make sure I get your email information for your PayPal. And um, we'll go from there. And thank you all for watching. This is Jeanette with Jan Panda Treasures. Good night.